Have you ever gotten a lot of coins in a round of item asylum and wondered how many can I actually get in a round? I know I have. And today, I'm going to answer that just like the title says. But first, I'm going to give you some background information, like always, so you can understand the video. There are currently 9 game modes with their own unique play styles, which each give different coin values for different games. There are also certain buffs that can give you a higher coin multiplier, which are joining the JPX server, which gives you an extra 0.5 coin multiplier. The weekend buff, which lasts from Friday to Saturday, give an extra 1 time coin multiplier. And the game pass, which gives you another 1 time coin multiplier. The coin multipliers you can currently have are 1x with no buffs, 1.5x with the group buff, 2x with the weekend or game pass buff, 2.5 group buff and the weekend or the game pass buff, and at the maximum, with all the buffs, you'll get a 3.5x coin buff. And thank you Scooter for giving me most of the necessary information for this video. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So for FFA, kit, TDM, and elimination, you receive about 1.75 coins to kill. 2.625 coins with the 1.5x buff, 3.5 with the 2x buff, 4.375 coins with the 2.5x buff, and the 6.125 for the 3.5x buff. For getting third place, you get around 10 coins. With the 1.5x multiplier, you get 15, the 2x buff gives you 20, 2.5x buff gives you 25, and the 3.5x buff gives you 35. For getting second place, you get 25 coins. With the 1.5x buff, you get 37.5. 2x gives you 50. 2.5x gives 62.5. And the 3.5x buff gives you 87.5 coins. And finally, if you get first place, you get 50 coins. 75 with the 1.5x, 100 with the 2x buff, 125 with the 2.5x buff, and 175 with max buffs. Realistically, let's say you can get a kill every 5 or so seconds with max buffs. You'd be earning 1.225 points per second. And let's say you get 96 kills. You'd earn about 588 coins from kills, plus 175 points from winning, which would give you only 763 coins in that one round. But you don't want to know how many coins you can realistically get. You want to see the impossible, sort of possible stuff. So let's say you're in a 16 person server and you have an overpowered one shot weapon like the op and assuming it takes about 5 or so seconds to respawn and you decimate everybody right after the immunity wears off, you'd be earning around 5.25 coins a second without any buffs and with max buffs, 18.75 coins a second. Considering the round is 8 minutes longer, 480 seconds, you can earn 9,000 coins from kills alone plus 175 coins from getting first place, totaling to 9,175 coins, which surprisingly isn't even close to how many coins you can get in a round. Now, for GG, the results are very underwhelming. Considering that you can only get a max of 17 kills, and the first place would win bonus of 50 coins, you can only get 279.125 coins which barely isn't anything compared to KIT or FFA. Now, for TDM, it's pretty much the same as FFA and KIT, but instead of being able to kill 15 people, you're now limited to 8. Basically, having the amount of points you can get to kill. Meaning, you'd be earning 2.8 coins a second, and with max buff, you'd be earning 9.8 coins per second. In total, you'd earn about 4,704 coins in kills. And with that extra winning bonus of 175, you'd be winning 4,879 coins, which is basically half of that fan kit. Elimination is also pretty restricted on how many kills you can get. With everybody only having 3 lives, the maximum amount of kills you can get would be 45, which only gives you 78.75 coins, and the max buff, 275.625. But, if you eliminate them on the last slide, you receive 5 coins instead of 1.75. So in total, you would receive 446.25 coins from kills with max buffs, plus the victory win of 175 coins would give you a total of 621.25 coins. For every infection you get as a zombie, you receive 15 coins. 
but you can only infect a maximum of 10 people, which only gives you 150 coins. And winning as a zombie only gives you 50 coins. Ah! Well, but winning as a survivor gives you 220 coins, which is already more than infecting everybody and winning as a zombie combined. But you don't get coins for killing zombies, so the maximum amount of coins you can get from ZS is 770. Now for MU, things get a little tricky. For every clue you collect, you earn 20 coins, and clues spawn around every 15 or so seconds. An MU round is 240 seconds long, but when an innocent dies, the timer increases by 10 seconds. Assuming you're in a 16 person server and all 14 of the innocents die, you would have 380 seconds to collect clues, meaning there would be around 25 clues to collect amounting to 500 coins. But with max buffs, you would earn 1,750 coins from only clues. Now, if you pick up a weapon, you can get 50 coins from shooting the murderer, but winning as the murderer gives 100 coins, as well as each innocent kill giving 5 coins, so if you kill all 15 people as the murderer while getting all the clues, you can get 2,362.5 coins. For Juggernaut, the amount of coins you get depends on what Juggernaut you're fighting. The higher health a Juggernaut has, the more coins you'll get, considering you get about 1 coin for every 60 damage you do. However, different Juggernauts have different amounts of HP. So far we have Beta Figure with a solid maximum health of 9,500, Flint Buster with a measly mass HP of 7,125, Red Mist and Hail with a decent 8,312.5 health, and the best one being Mihawk with 11,875 health. Doing all the damage to Mihawk gives you about 198 coins, plus the victory bonus of 165 gives you 368 coins without buffs, and 1270.5 with max buffs. As the Juggernaut, you can receive 10 coins for every player you kill, totaling to 45 kills at most, giving you 450 coins with no buffs. You also receive 325 coins for winning as the Juggernaut as well. All that combined, you can get 775 coins with no buffs, and a 2,712.5 with max buff. Now, we get to some very interesting stats of bosses. Just like Juggernaut, for every 60 damage you do, you get 1 coin. And winning gives you 255 coins. So let's say that everybody in your 16 person server sucks and dies immediately after spawning. And now you're tasked with having to solo the boss. Now, depending on the boss, the more coins you can get because they each have a different amount of health. So far, you can do a little over 15,000 damage to 10-hour bracement, giving 250 coins from damage. Beta devs have a combined total of 35,000 and 100 health, 9,000 for Gene, 12,150 for Port, and 13,950 for Xeroz, giving a total of 585 coins. Clayman has 15,000 health, giving 250 coins. Cliff Prime has 15,000 health, Plus the Slungus Prism's 4,500 health is a combined total of 19,500, giving 325 coins. Matter has 20,000 health, giving 333.3 coins. CH has 18,500 HP, giving 308.3 coins. The Man of Nature has 4,800 health, and let's say you get only pigs as your wave enemies, you get 225 pigs to kill. 225 pigs with 200 health each have a total of 45,000 health. Plus, the Man of Nature's 4,800 health is 49,800, giving 830 coins. The Skeleton has a total of 15,800 HP, giving 263.3 coins. For Trash King, Port, Zeros, and Gene all have 11,250 HP, which totals to 33,750, giving you 562.5 coins. And it has 17,800 HP giving 296.7. And finally, we have uncertified. This information may be a little inaccurate, so take it with a large chunk of salt. But in a 16 person server, you can do about 35,000 damage in total, giving 583.3 coins. But unlike all the other bosses, uncertified gives 637.5 points for winning, instead of the usual 255. Meaning that if you single-handedly carried an uncertified, you would get 1,220.8 coins without buffs, and with buffs, you'd earn 4,272.8 coins. TC is where numbers get big, and I mean really big. 
For every tower you take as an attacker, or defend as a defender, you get 50 coins. So far, the maps with the most statues are Scary and Cannon, each with 6 statues, meaning you can get 300 coins from just taking or defending those towers. When you secure a tower as an attacker, the timer increases by 90 seconds, allowing you to get more kills than you could as a defender. And let's say you wait up the clocks so that you take it at the last second for each of one of the six towers, you could have 1,020 seconds to take the kills and capture towers. Just like TDM, in a max server, the enemy team will have 8 people to kill, and if you kill them immediately after respawning, you should get 2,856 coins from kills. And with max buffs, you would earn 9,996 coins plus the 1,050 coins you get from taking all the statues, giving 11,046 coins, which is more than FFA and Kit's 9,175 coins, making it the most amount of coins you can get in one round. But wait, you may have noticed this little feature in TC called Overtime. If any statue isn't fully in the position of both teams by the time the timer runs out, a little something called Overtime occurs. Overtime only ends when one team has full control over the tower, but there isn't a null limit on how long the time can last for. If you jump in and out of the statue's range at a quick enough pace so the timer doesn't run out, you would theoretically get infinite coins. That is if item asylum servers lasted that long. Item asylum servers usually last for 12 hours, which is 43,200 seconds. And assuming we drink a 10 hour burst or two, we can still continue to decimate everybody right after they respawn, which would give us 120,960 coins without buffs. And with buffs, 423,360 coins from just kills. And we can't forget about the tower captures, which allow us to get 424,410 coins in a single round. 